Welcome to ActorTube.com. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to register for the site and also how to create your profile. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to click the register button up at the top of the menu. After clicking register, you'll be brought over to a page where you can select what type of membership that you want to sign up for. If you are talent, if you are an actor, musician, singer, model, videographer, photographer, or any other type of talent, you can sign up for free for the talent section. If you're a recruiter or agent looking for people to fill your castings, this is the section for you. We're going to start with the free membership. Uh, and We will click sign up here. Of course, you'll want to put in your first name, your last name, and then you're going to choose a username, your email address, and then you're going to have a password in order to access the site. For this, we're just going to use first name as test, last name ing, <laughs> uh, and our username will just do testing. Please choose a username that is unique to you. It will be in your URL, it will be made public through your URL, so please choose a username that is unique to you. For your email address, make sure that you use an email that you have access to. Uh, this is what you will use to reset your password if you were to lose it and also to receive communications from ActorTube. Next, we'll have to go down here and the CAPTCHA is set up so that we can prevent robots from registering for our site and spamming us. We'll click here, I'm not a robot. Sometimes it asks for more questions than others. In this one, it says select all drinks. This looks like a drink to me. This looks like a drink to me. Not too sure what this is, but we're going to guess it's a drink. Click verify. We got the check mark. And now we'll hit register my account. Once you register for the site, you'll see that the menus change. Up at the top, you've got home, you've got my stuff, you've got new stuff, you've got logout. We're going to start with my stuff and my profile. As you scroll down, you'll see the information that you filled out whenever you're registering for the site. And then you see contact info, Facebook, Twitter. When you fill out your Facebook and your Twitter profiles here, what you will want to make sure you do is you want to copy all of the URL, including the HTTPS colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash your Facebook user. Uh, same thing with Twitter, HTTPS colon slash slash www.twitter.com slash your user. And this is where we get into the information for the site. Your biographical information this is this needs to be very short and sweet. An example of this, I'll go ahead and show you as we jump over here. We'll go to actortube.com author slash and we'll choose Addison for our example. <clears throat> and you can see this is Addison's profile. I'll get into this more here in just a second, but the short and sweet part that we are looking at here where it's your biographical info, where that comes into play is after you start creating these posts, these talent updates, these recruiter updates, uh, when you list anything on the site, anytime that you create a status update, it's going to create one of these posts. And down at the very bottom of these posts, you will see a box right here about Allison Nagel. This little line right here is your short and sweet biographical info. If you wanted to change your password, this is where you could do it. For now, we're going to skip this full profile section and jump right on down here to our avatar. We will click Choose Image. Uh, when you have initially sign up for the site, you're not going to have any anything in your media library. You're going to need to upload files. We'll select files. I've already got a couple set up for this. I'm just choosing an image. I'll click open. It'll take a second to load. And once it pops in like this, we'll just click select. 
and just for fun we'll go ahead and hit update profile make sure everything saves we'll just scroll back down here to the full profile the full profile an example of that let's jump over back over here to where we were looking at Miss Allison's profile we can see view all posts by Allison Nagel we'll click on this this is also the section where her full profile shows up and this is your username again so this is her full profile you can see this is her avatar it's automatically going to be generated and put into this position it'll float left and up at the top um, and then we go from here so in this full profile section I've already got some content set up for this I'm gonna bring it over this and you can see I've I copy and pasted this content actually from the United States government's website uh, Bureau of Labor and Statistics about actors um, you can see that there's information in here that you would you would write this about yourself tell us about you tell the world about you uh, what do you like to do what makes you different um, anything such as that uh, so once you've got this in here you can add media to it you cannot add vi videos into your full profile that is going that is for post and also for in the future our paid members uh, they will have a profile that is quite a bit different than this one but for now you can add pictures into this uh, so I've just chosen a spot in here I clicked in I'll click add media of course this is the only picture that I've got right now in my media library I'm gonna click upload files again jump over here again I've already set up for this I'm gonna open this particular image now it's gonna automatically generate a URL in here it also automatically generates a title this I would recommend you use something unique uh, my unique picture title uh, in the alternate text uh, I would recommend copying the title and pasting it here down here we see alignment we're gonna say left we're gonna to link to none and we'll just use the medium size image for now to continue after we've done this we can come in here uh, creativity we'll make this bold memorizing skills we'll make this bold persistence we'll make this bold we can add we'll jump in here and say uh, heading for my profile you would want to use of course something else we can highlight this we can toggle our toolbar using this guy right here we'll click H2 and for now we have done enough we will click update profile And as you can see, we can view our public profile up here. And this is it. Next, we'll be going over how to create these posts. When you register for the site, you're automatically going to be generated a new Actor2 profile post. You can open it here. You can click Edit right here. You can change this up and create whatever you want again we're going to do another tutorial on how to do these posts how to create these posts um, here's your profile information you can click on my post and reviews you'll be able to see your post here uh, you can create a new post um, new post and in these posts you can add videos uh, you can use your phone to add these videos uh, you can like I said, you can log in on your phone and add videos. It's a very, very great system. One thing that you do need to realize and you do need to know is that whenever you are adding a post, you'll see down here a featured image. To set that featured image, it will be the first image you load into your post. 
Uh, they, once you've made the setting, you cannot change it. In order to change it, you will delete your post and create a new one. So whatever feature image you want, click Add Mini, you click your media library, click on the image that you want to be the featured image, you insert it into post, and you'll see up here at the top I've got draft set as a status. I'll click save. It's going to put that picture into the featured image section and then if I don't want that picture in the post I can just remove it. The featured image will be the one that shows up we'll go ahead and set this to published we'll click save We'll jump back over here. Um, we can view my profile. We'll view our public profile and you can see this is the featured image. When we actually open the post, because we deleted that picture out of the post, you'll see that that featured image is not shown in this post. So that's a way to set up your featured image without actually showing it in your post. We'll go over this stuff more uh, congratulations on joining ActorTube. We look forward to the future. Goodbye.